Step right up, grab a scissor. I'm gonna open with you guys. I'll try to open the most difficult of the ones. Here, this one is a film. I'll open that one because it's in the book. Oh, come on, grab it. Yeah, yeah, come on. <laughs> so it's me, Denny Daniel, of the Museum of Interesting Things at the Censored uh, Secret Speakeasy where we're doing the unboxing, which apparently is a thing on YouTube, which I never knew about. <laughs> it's a museum, not a library. <laughs> so I'm opening this one for you guys. Oh, Louisa, you got, you're opening one, right? Yeah, yeah. I brought enough for everyone. And then after that, the movie we're going to play is uh, one of the great notorious ones. Um, it's a Donald Duck one. Uh, duck Commando or Commander or something. <laughs> Paul, you know the one I'm talking about. And you can open more than one if you want. Okay, so I opened up a 16 millimeter film here. And this one is, if I recall correctly, because this one is actually a really bizarre private sale between a filmmaker guy and me because I lost this one. And he somehow figured that out and, and got it for me. <laughs> he went and, he, oh no, he bought it. And then he called me up and said, I heard you wanted it. So I'm going to let you have it. And he mailed it to me. He scanned it and mailed it. This one is called Manners in School. And it's adorable. What happens is there's a kid in school who's kind of a bully. And it's part of our Manners show. And the teacher goes, you're not behaving well. You have to write on the blackboard something like, you know, I'm a bully or whatever. And instead he draws a stick figure and the stick figure comes to life and goes, you're a bully. You don't, you don't behave well. And he goes, I don't like you. And, he's, and, it's, and the stick figure comes to life and starts to teach him what kind of bully he is. And it's hysterical. And when we do our manner show, you guys are going to love that one. So what did you open up? I opened up like something that comes from like back in the day. What's your name? Mm, Richard. Richard opened up George Billier's. Um, this is, uh, is it a wire? It's a, is it a wire photo? I think it's a uh, press photo of George Billier's, the guy who did um, uh, Trip to the Moon. You ever see that film where you see the moon get its eye poked up by a rocket? Yeah, I saw that. That's that's the, this is the guy who did it. He's a oh, French director okay. from the 1800s who basically built his own cameras to make his films happen. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's amazing. So that is a really iconic, amazing piece that you just opened. Um, so uh, come around this way. Oh, yes, thank you so much. We have to put the boxes together with the packaging. So thank you. And then Rochelle. Uh, the, 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 the. Rochelle opened up the Beatles' Rebel Soul. Now, this is the stereo version of it. There's a mono and a stereo. The stereo apparently is dreadful. The guy did a really bad job. And so I wanted to get the stereo to compare it. So somewhere here, there's the mono version of it also. So you'll have to find the mono so that we can compare and contrast. So thanks, Rochelle. And then you opened up a cylinder. So step right up. What's your name? Demi. Demi. Oh, that's right. Yes. Uh, Demi opened up an Edison cylinder. And let's see the name because if I buy an Edison cylinder, now that I have so many, like hundreds, uh, oh my God, this is beautiful. This is um, Shine On Harvest Moon. Shine on, shine on harvest moon. Up in the sky. Isn't that, a, that is a great song. I'm so proud of getting that song finally. I have, I had a copy of it, it got damaged and now I have another. So keep that one very okay. safely. Okay. Uh, so what did you open up? I got some uh, oh, old records. Oh, more Edison cylinders from my yeah. same buddy, but he for some reason sent them separately. Uh, what's your name? I'm Jacob. Jacob opened up the cylinders. I believe some of these are for an Edison uh, musical that we're planning on doing. Oh, so when we God. do it, you could be like, I'm the one who opened up some of the songs for that cylinder. Uh, it's going to be the world's first. So uh, the names of this one are... are, 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 are um, because, oh God, it 
so hard to read. I may have written on the box to be smart. Bring the box over. Yeah. Maybe I was smart and wrote it on the box to make my life easy. So I don't have to suffer. I did! I was smart! Good! Okay. So, one is called... Oh, you're going to love this. One's called Peekaboo. <laughs> so the song Peekaboo, which I thought was hysterical. Um, and one is called You Never Said uh, Goodbye, which is good. Uh, and the other one is called Because I'm a Married Man. <laughs> Aww. That's why you didn't do the wrong thing, because yeah. you're a married man, and that's what that's about. So we're doing a oh, okay. an Edison love story. So the whole idea is that he's a good boy. You got, you got a good one here. He, you know, the, the whole song is, I'm sorry, I'm a married man now. So that's very cool. I like that one. <laughs> so uh, let's put these uh, back together inside this box real quick. And I'll look at the other ones. And here, put that over there on the table. Yeah. And then who else has one? Right. I got where we make things, 16 millimeter print. Wow. Oh, that's funny enough. Uh, this is our filmmaker. What's his name again? Samuel. Samuel is going to be doing a 3D film, or already did it, and hopefully we'll show it here one of these days. And you opened up uh, the film. Yeah, it says on here, what did I write? Where we make things. Oh, where we make things. So this is part of my invention show. So it's one of these. Oh, it's a kid who goes to a toy shop, and the airplane is broken, and the guy's like, "Oh, it's broken!" And then his dad goes. Well, let's figure out what's wrong. Mm -hmm. And it teaches him how to fix it and how these toys work and all that. So it's a really cool, edu another one of my nice. educational uh, cool films. So that's a really cool one, nice. <laughs> especially nice. for a filmmaker to open. Kind of like a how-to film. Cool. So uh, Louisa opened up an Edison cylinder. She is one of my dearest friends. Um, and did it, was I smart enough to write on it? Yes. And he actually sent me the uh, uh, digital of it also. So this one is, oh, this is part of the Edison love story, too. This is, um, all I need is you and a rocking chair. Aw, oh, that's all I need is, is Louisa and a rocking chair and that mask. That's the coolest, the world's coolest mask. I'll tell you who I got it from. Who? Uh, her name's Art, it's called Art in Forest, on Etsy. I'll send it to you. There's... Oh, yeah, definitely. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's very cool. So let me put that inside there before I forget. Yeah. Like I said, Louisa is one of my dearest, oldest friends. Uh, that, oh, oh, actually, that we need. That's not packing. That's actually the, <laughs> the digital. Oh, wow. So, oh, my God. Say your name again. Demi. Demi opened up one of the most important magazine articles I've got. It's a lead to Forrest, who is known as one of the, uh, the uh, inventors of the radio. Um, he's an amazing, amazing inventor. And this is a whole magazine on his work. So that is earth shattering. Uh, put that with the packaging. That's over there. Excellent. Good. And then uh, Rochelle uh, opened up Emily. <laughs> this is a Captain Zoom tape for our birthday show where we actually do a birthday show. If it's your birthday, we have the world's largest collection of happy birthday 45s. We have over 350. Uh, I don't have Rochelle, but now I have Emily. This is my only Emily, so I got a tape. Because <laughs> I couldn't find a record of Emily, I got a tape. Good enough. If there's an Emily, we'll play a tape. Okay, so are we done, or are there more? Oh, so what did you open up? What's your name? Olivia. Olivia opened up... Uh... Oh my God, that's so cool! Okay, Paul, you ready for this? I got it. It is Live and Let Die, the trailer for the uh, spy show. Oh, uh, that's <laughs> Thank you to Paul for finding this one. And then I emailed the guy personally, told him I teach kids. Can I get it from you? And he said, yep. So I got it from him personally. So May 2nd, we're playing this for our Spy vs. Spy Secret Speakeasy, the first time we've ever done a Spy vs. Spy Speakeasy. So that's excellent. Are you a foreign spy, CIA, or FBI? Yes. You're not supposed to be able to tell me that. <laughs> well, I hate to tell you this, but your boss is probably firing you tomorrow morning. <laughs> uh, so uh, are we done? Is there more? Uh, I think we're pretty much... Oh, one more. One more here, and it looks like it is uh, the record that I was talking about, although it doesn't look like that record. 